Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Now, today's video, we are going to be going through this week's Forzathon, where I will show you the quickest and easiest ways to complete all of the challenges. But first, I just want to add, we've not had any news yet on the new Season 23 cars or festival playlist challenges or anything like that. But when we do, I will let you guys know. Anyway, this Forza Thumb wants us to use the 2013 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 to complete all of its challenges. Now, this car luckily is available to everyone, so you can pick it up in the auto show for 115,000 credits, or you can get it in the auction house probably for a bit less. I have also created a tune for you guys to use. It is called Forzathon EVG and the share code is 13244828. And again, that's available for everyone to use if you choose to use it, that is. Now, the first challenge here is nice and easy and it only wants you to win three drag strip events. So that won't take too long at all. Now, the drag strip I used was a Horizon Festival one because everyone's got this unlocked from the start and it's a fairly short one. It's not too difficult at all. Now, when you go there, all you have to do is just hop in a standard solo race. So it will probably come up with a modern muscle one, as you saw there. You haven't got to do any blueprints or anything like that. Um, at the end of the day, it's just a simple drag race and you can do it on whatever difficulty you want as well. It really, really doesn't matter, but I think I'll do it on expert and it's, as you can see, pretty easy there. There's no real difficulty in it at all, especially when you've got a tune on the car. It makes life a lot easier. Now, the second challenge here isn't necessarily difficult. It's just a bit more time consuming and it wants you to earn a total of a million skill score in your Mustang. Now, I also recommend buying out a load of skill perks. They will definitely come in handy. Unfortunately, there's not a multiplier one, but that doesn't really matter. But I definitely recommend getting the extra life one as you might crash. Um, and if you lose your skill score halfway through, you're gonna be pretty pissed. And then I recommend going over to the Greendale airstrip as I normally do for these types of challenges. Now, the reason I do this is because there's plenty of stuff to smash into and sort of I've created my own little route around here as you sort of figure out probably across the video. So you basically just do a lot of drifting to get your drift skills, especially after you purchase the perk as well, which gets you an additional 20% uh, towards the actual skill score. And then you can just smash into stuff. There's some jumps to do. There's all sorts of skills you can basically get here. So it's definitely the best place to do it. Like I said, it's not too difficult, but it does just take a bit of time. And in order to do it, you have to get 200,000 skill score. And then obviously it gets multiplied by five. Unless, of course, you've got a skill song on, which multiplies it by 10, so you'd only need 100,000. So I'd cycle through the radio stations every now and again just to try and save yourself a bit of time. But it's actually really, really easy at the end of the day. It took me about 10 minutes, roughly. So not a difficult challenge at all, just a bit more time consuming than most. And the third and final challenge here just wants you to win a road racing series event. Now this is really, really easy. And to do this, I went over to the Lakehurst Forest Sprint. Now the reason for this, obviously, you can see what's coming. I have created a race, which I've used before. So when you go over to custom events, you can type in my one called super quick, or there is also a share code for you guys to use, which is 2086722882. And it's a very simple blueprint as you'd expect where the AI just drive off somewhere and you can just sail right past them to the finish line again difficulty doesn't matter here but because the AI are sort of out the picture it really really doesn't matter at all but all you have to do is just win that once and then there's this week's Forza Thon completed really really nice and easy and shouldn't take more than 15 minutes all in all anyway I hope that you enjoyed this video folks and I hope that it helped you out if you're new to the channel and you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe. And obviously, if you have any questions, please do put them down below in the comments and I will answer to all of them. But apart from that, folks, like I said, I will keep you updated on what's going on with season 23 when the guys at Falls and release any information. And I will make sure you guys are the first to know. Apart from that, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you take care and stay safe.